Astronaut Scott Kelly is one half of an unprecedented experiment. He will fly a year on the International Space Station to see how he holds up against his identical twin, retired astronaut Mark Kelly, who remains on Earth. They hope to answer big medical questions that would arise from a proposed two-year mission to Mars. Uh, the big one we have right now is this issue with our, our vision and, uh, you know, how astronauts, some astronauts on long-duration space flights have had a, uh, you know, degradation in their vision that is concerning. We've done a lot of research up here since I've been here to better understand that. You know, there are a lot of things you can't tell from television. What, what does it smell like in there? Does it smell like a gem? You know, and it smells differently in different places, but, you know, occasionally like an antiseptic uh, smell combined with like garbage, <laughs> you know. Um, now space has its own unique smell, so whenever a vehicle docks, the smell of space when you open up the, uh, the hatch, it's kind of like a burning metal smell, if you could imagine what that would smell like. Now, you're going to be up there about a year, and I wonder, does that feel like a year in jail? You know, there are probably some similarities, I would, I would suspect. You know, you can't leave. Uh, you know, no matter what happens, you're not, you're not going home. But in all seriousness, what are the psychological effects of being confined in that space for all that time? Yeah, it seems like I've been up here for a long time already. But the psychological effects are one of the reasons why we're doing this. Scott Kelly, about 200 miles up, traveling at 17,000 miles an hour. We're grateful for your time. Thank you. My pleasure. He will set the American record for endurance in space. And that's the CBS Evening News. For all of us at CBS News, all around the world, good night.